How can you be so disrespectful to people to think that you could just go into their their property and steal what they've worked hard for? 2023 ended with dozens of car break-ins in East Haddam. That has victims hoping 2024 brings an arrest. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash found one of those victims and has video of the suspects. This is a photo of the man state police say broke into dozens of cars in East Haddam over the weekend. A photo Susan Ross wants you to take a good look at. They had gone over to my neighbor's house and they had come, one had come over here. You could see him lifting the door handle. We have a motion sensor light. So that came on, spooked him. They got in the car and they left. This is surveillance video from Ross's home on Neptune Avenue. Just down the road, another neighbor gave us this video showing the same white Subaru Forester at around 6 Saturday morning with two suspects getting out and starting to rifle through cars. I was a little upset that somebody would actually come into my driveway to my property and try to steal from me. State police say about 25 people in town were victims and the first selectman says mailboxes were also vandalized. In a statement to Channel 3, the East Haddam First Selectman says, As First Selectman, my top priority is public safety. We have stepped up our patrols, utilizing our state trooper, Troop K in Colchester, and our local officers. East Haddam has a resident state trooper. It also has three patrol officers and another officer who covers two additional towns. We shouldn't need a big police presence. Ross has lived in this neighborhood for nearly a decade, and this isn't the first time she's gone through something like this. She says years ago, burglars hit her husband's car. They actually broke into it. They popped the door and they stole a couple of small things that he had in there. Nothing worth anything, but still. State police say a locked cruiser was also broken into this weekend. Anyone who recognizes this man or this Subaru should call police. In East Adam, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.